Distinguished guests, it's a privilege to be back in JNU. It's my second visit. I was here uh, just over two, about two years ago. My first visit was uh, late March then, I think, and the, the weather was much less comfortable than it is today. So I, I arrived in the country very early hours this morning, so you'll forgive me if sometimes I'm not as coherent as I usually am. But uh, as I say, it's a privilege to be here. It's also a privilege to be talking to uh, an audience which consists of students both from the social sciences and from engineering. Because uh, the ambassador has mentioned the importance of partnership. Uh, and some of the things that I'll show you is that it's not just about the importance of partnership, but it is about the importance of the sciences and the engineering working together with the social sciences as we go into the future. So this is what I'm going to talk about in, in the lecture today. I'll give you a brief introduction to Ireland for context, and many of you will be familiar with Ireland already. In fact, many of you have spent many years studying Ireland, but uh, I think for those of you that are not familiar with the current Irish situation, I'm just very, very talk about that. I'll talk a little bit about what the world was like in 1854 when uh, John Henry Newman became the first then called rector of University College Dublin. I'll also talk a little bit about then what the world was like in 1913 to 1916 when 25% of the law students at UCD are in fact Indians. I'll then talk a, a little bit about how universities have changed since those times, but also point out things which have remained the same for, for more than 150 years. I should also at the start here say that I uh, neglected to congratulate JNU on your 50th anniversary. That's a fantastic achievement. So it's a privilege to be speaking uh, as part of the commemoration for that. So I'll talk a little bit, as I say, about the challenges that the so called fourth industrial revolution represents to us the rise of artificial intelligence, and within that context, the opportunities for further Indian island cooperation. So if we, we look to where Ireland is, so Ireland is a small island uh, off the west coast of the British Isles. So you can see Ireland here. And Ireland is partitioned, as you might be aware, into the southern part of Ireland, which is a republic, and the northern part of Ireland, which is part of the United Kingdom. So you can see Northern Ireland there coloured in red. Okay, is that better? Yes. So you can see uh, Northern Ireland coloured in red with the, the flag of the United Kingdom there. Currently part of the EU, but as you'd be aware, the UK is in the process of perhaps leaving the EU. Perhaps not. We, we're still holding our breath to see what happens on the 31st of March when they're supposed to be leaving the EU. So if that happens, then you'll see that the border between the red, Northern Ireland, and the green, the Republic of Ireland, then becomes an EU border. And this is causing all sorts of concern because if there isn't alignment of regulation between the EU and the UK uh, following the, the exit of the UK from the EU, then that border will have to be a hard border. And that is a border that saw troubles over many years, and we would be very concerned if those troubles were reignited by the reinstatement of a hard border. You can also see that perhaps similar to your own border, the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland is a very complex and long border with many uh, roads crossing it, with in fact properties, uh, farms that stand from one side of the border to the other, and uh, in fact towns, but uh, part of the town is on one side of the border and part on the other. So there, there's another solution that may happen in the long term, and that's this. 
Yeah. So I won't uh, talk very much about that. So you can see that the UK flag may leave the island of Ireland altogether, which would be the preferred solution for uh, quite a, a I think majority of the population of the Republic anyway. So, 